wind is good. I wonder why he stays. I fear me he is wrecked upon the sea. Look, Lancaster, how passionate he is. And still his mind runs on his women. My lord. How now, what news? Is Gaveston arrived? Nothing but Gaveston. What mean your grace? You have matters more weight to think upon. The king of France sets his foot in Normandy. A trifle. We'll expel him when we please. But tell me, Mortimer, what's thy device against the stately triumph we've decreed? A only one, my lord. Not worth the telling. Prithee, let me know it. But seeing you are so desirous, thus it is. A lofty cedar tree, fair flourishing. On whose top branches, kingly eagles perch. And by the bark, a canker creeps me up. And, got, and gets onto the highest bough of all, the motto, a key tandem. And what is yours, my lord of Lan Lancaster? My lord, mine's more obscure than your numbers. <clears throat> my name, of course, there is a flying fish, which all the other fishes that they hate. And therefore, being pursued, it takes the air. No sooner is it up, but there's a fowl that sees it. This fish, my lord, I bear. The motto of this, and be the corset. Proud Mortimer, ungentle Lancaster. Is this the love you bear your sovereign? Is this the fruit your reconcilement bears? Can you in words make show of amity, and in your shields display your rancorous minds? What call you this but private libeling against the Earl of Cornwall and my brother? Sweet husband, be content. They all love you. They love me not that hate my Gaveston. I am that cedar. Shake me not too much. And you, the eagles, soar ye ne'er too high. I have the jesses that will pull you down. And aqua tandem shall that canker cry unto the proudest peer of Brittany. Though thou comparest him to a flying fish and threaten his death where, whether he li rise or fall, tis not the hugest monster of the sea nor foulest harpy that shall swallow him. If in his absence thus he favors him, when will he do, when as he shall be present? That shall we see when his lordship comes. My Gaveston, Welcome to Tinnemouth, welcome to thy friend. Thy absence made me droop and pine away, for as the lovers of fair Danae, when she was locked up in a brazen tower, desired her more and waxed outrageous, so did it sure with me. And now thy sight is sweeter far than was thy parting hence, bitter and irksome to my sobbing heart. Sweet Lord and King, your, your speech primeth mine. Yet I have words left to express my joy, the shepherd nipped with biting winter's rage. Frolics not more to see the painted spring than I do behold your majesty. Will none of you salute my Gaveston? Salute him? Yes, welcome, Lord Chamberlain. Welcome is the good Earl of Cornwall. Welcome, Lord Governor of the Isle of Man. Welcome, Master Secretary. Brother, do you hear them? Still will these earls and barons use me thus? My lord, I cannot brook these injuries. I mean, poor soul, these begin to jar. Return it to their throats, I'll be thy warrant. Base lean earls, thy glory in your birth, go sit at home and eat your tenant's beef, and come out here to scoff at Gaveston, whose mounting thoughts did ever creep so low as to bestow a look on such as you. Yet I disdain not to do this for you. Treason, treason, where's the traitor? Here, here. <laughs> Convey hence, Gaveston, they'll murder him. The life of thee shall salve this foul disgrace. Villain, thy life, unless I miss my aim. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Done. No more than I would answer where he's slain. Yes, more than thou canst answer, though he live. Dear shall you both abide this riotous deed. Out of my presence, come not near the court. I'll not be bared, the court for Gaveston. We'll hail him by the ears into the block. Look to your own heads, his is short enough. Look to your own crown if you back him thus. Warwick, these words do ill beseem thy years. Nay, all of them conspire to cross me thus, but if I live, I'll tread upon their heads, 
that think with high looks thus to tread me down. Come, Edmund, let's away and levy men. Tis war that must abate these barons' pride. Let's to our castles, for the king is moved. Moved may he be, and perish in his wrath. Cousin, it is no dealing with him now. He needs to make us do by force of arms. And therefore let us join me here for test, to prosecute that Galveston to the death. By heaven, the abject villain shall not live. I'll have his blood or die in seeking it. And so doth Lancaster. Now send our heralds to defy the king and make the people swear to put him down. Letters from whence? From Scotland, my lord. Uh, yeah. Why, how now, cousin? How fares all your friends? My uncle's taken prisoner by the Scots. We'll have him ransomed. Man, be good of cheer. They rate his ransom five thousand pounds. Who should defray the money but the king? Seeing he is taken prisoner in his wares, wars, I'll go to the king. Do, cousin, and I'll bear thee company. Meantime, my lord of Pembroke and myself will to Newcastle here and gather head. About it then, and we will follow you. Be resolute and full of secrecy. I warrant you. Cousin, and feel not ransom him. I'll thunder such appeal into his ears, as never subject did unto the king. Content. I'll bear my part. Holla, who's there? Ah, uh, Mary, such a guard of this doth well. Lead on the way. Whither, whither will your lordships? Whither else but to the king? His highness is disposed to be alone. Why, so he may, but we will speak to him. You may not in, my lord. May we not? How now? What noise is this? Who have we here? Is it you? Nah, stay, my lord. I come to bring you news. My uncle's taken prisoner by the Scots. Then ransom him. T'was in your wars. You should ransom him. And you shall ransom him, or else. What, Mortimer? You will not threaten him? Quiet yourself. You shall have the broad seal to gather for him throughout the realm. Your minion Gaveston hath taught you this. My lord. The family of the Mortimers are not so poor, but we, they sell their land. With levy men enough to anger you, we never beg, but you such prayers as these. Shall I still be haunted thus? Nay, now you're here alone, I'll speak my mind. And so will I, and then my lord farewell. The idle triumphs, masks, uh, lascivious shows, and prodigal gates bestowing against him, have drawn thy treasure, drive, made thee weak. The murmuring commons overstretched head. Look for rebellion, look to be deposed. Thy garrisons are beaten out of France, and lean and poor lie roaming in the gates. The wild O'Neill, with swarms of Irish curtains, lies uncontrolled within the English pale, unto the walls of York, the Scots made road, and unresisted, during away rich spoils. The haughty Dane commands narrow seas, while in the harbor ride the ships unrigged. What foreign prince sends the ambassadors? Who loves thee but a sort of flatters? Thy gentle queen, sole sister to Velway, complains that thou hast left her all forlorn. Thy court is naked, being bereft of those that makes the king seem glorious to the world. I mean the peers whom thou shoulder dearly love. Labels are cast again in thee in the street, ballads and rhymes made of thy overthrow. The northern border, seeing their houses burnt, their wives and children slain run up and down, cursing the name of thee and Galveston. When wert thou in the field with the banner spread? But once, and then thy shoulders march like players, with garnished robes, not armor in thyself. Be dogged with gold, rode laughing at the rest, naughty and shaking of thy uh, spangled crest, where, where women's favors hung like labels down. And there came it that the fearing Scots to England's high disgrace have made this jig. Maids of England, swore may you mourn, for your lemons you have lost at Bannocksbourne. With a heave and a hoe, what weneth the king of England, so soon to have won Scotland, with the wrong below. Wing more shall fly to set my uncle free. And when tis gone, our swords shall purchase more. If ye be moved, revenge it as you can. 
look next to, look next to see us with our ensign spread. My swelling heart for very anger breaks. How oft have I been baited by these peers, and dare not be revenged, for their power is great. Yet shall the crowing of these cockerels affright a lion? Edward, unfold thy paws, and let their lives' blood slake thy furious hunger. If I be cruel and grow tyrannous, now let them thank themselves and rue too late. My lord, I see your love to Gaveston will be the ruin of the realm and you, for now the wrathful nobles threaten your wars, and therefore, brother, banish him forever. Art thou an enemy to my Gaveston? Aye, and it grieves me that I favored him. Traitor, be gone! Wine thou with Mortimer. So will I, rather than with Gaveston. Out of my sight, and trouble me no more. No marvel, though thou can scorn thy noble peers, when I thy brother rejected thus. Away! Poor Gaveston, that hath no friend but me, do what they can, will live in Tinnemouth here. And so I walk with him about the walls. What care I though the earls begird us round? <laughs> 